Hey guys, welcome back to my new YouTube channel, Slick Water Yakking. Uh, I just got started in this, so this will be my second video. Just wanted to give you a quick rundown on the uh, Jackson Cusa HD. Uh, I've taken it out four or five times now. It does pretty well. I had it on my last trip that you saw, and I was just going to show you what I got rigged up, how it performs, you know, what I got on it, what works best for me, and hopefully this will uh, help you out. So let's check it out. Like I said, I'm not really going to do a review on it, just mainly what I've got rigged on it and what works for it. Starting on the front, I keep my net right there in front of me. That way when I get them close, it's right there accessible to get to, easy to use, it floats, and it's worked best now and I've had it for about six months. Right here on the side, I just had this come in. Uh, it's my gooseneck for the GoPro. Uh, as you can tell, it flexes, goes whichever direction you need to go, keep it out of the way, and it's just mounted to one of the, uh, the, stick, the stick bottom mounts for the gopro and i just put it right there up front and so far it's held on good and i'll be trying it out on my next trip so hopefully i get to use that soon for my front camera going next onto the rails i've got one of these yak attack sidewinders uh, it's just got a little bit of a little bit of paracord to it for the anchor that i keep uh, nothing real big i just got my dumbbell in there i'll eventually be getting a fish finder rigged up in there so i might have to find somewhere else or just see if it fits fits inside with the battery also on there, I'm just using the Yak Attack paddle holders, one on this side, one on the other as well. That way when I'm fishing and I just need to get the paddle out of my way, it's right there, clip it in, and you're good to go. I got another mount there just for whatever. Haven't used it yet, but it's there if I need it. Coming up next to the side of the seat, I just use the bungee cords that come with it that you use for your rod holders. I've got my, my hog trough in there to have ready for online tournaments or on site, so that's ready to go. I also use the uh, Plano tackle box holders right here on the side. I just stick a bungee over the top of that, holds it in, and then I also have the one under the seat. I'm not sure if you can see that. I keep that one in there as well. Going back a little bit further right here behind the seat, I keep a fish grip tied on. Uh, it's lanyard off. It's right here. I've got it where it can, can flex out and everything. I just keep it close. That way, if I need to get a fish, fish in and get them, get them hooked or lipped right there, and I keep them close so I can get a picture of them. Going a little bit further back, got a brush cramp. It's actually just the uh, the flex claws that come with that gooseneck that I just showed you. Uh, I just got them rigged up with some more paracord, just probably a little over 12 inches or so, and I just use that for uh, hooking up to brush or trees whenever I'm close to it, kind of as a mini anchor. And I just keep that hooked onto the back rail here. Next in the back, I got my GoPro 4 uh, boomstick mount, and it's just sitting in my uh, RAM rod holder. I just got a piece of insulation around it. That way it kind of takes up some more room and it doesn't wobble around. I just slid it down there and it holds tension. And I've got the, uh, the stick coming down through a little bit more. That way it just helps to minimize leverage that the camera has to move here up higher at the top. So I've got a couple different pins in there to help on the angles. That way I can go whichever way I want on it. That works out pretty well. It's for my GoPro 4. Again, that one's not waterproof. So I'm just using this case, keeping it up out of the way, hoping to not flip and uh, ruin that camera. Otherwise, I'll be upgrading again once the one I got right now, the 5. Back to the other side of the seat, uh, I kind of got the same setup as the other. Uh, center of the hog trough, I got the uh, Yak Attack parking pole. Uh, this is the 8-foot one, and I'm using the bungees that normally go for the rod holders to uh, hang on to that and it keeps it kind of up against the boat only spot it sticks out is the back so as long as i can keep keep everything in tight uh, i don't have to worry about hanging up again with the plano tackle boxes in the uh setup right here cubby hole slit on the side and also up under the seat 
So the gooseneck I just got, it replaced this model here that I had from Rope Blazer. I uh, still got it. It's a small 24 inch boom stick. You know, I had it on a platform so it could swing any which way you wanted to, change angles and all that. But, uh, you know, I was just having issues getting it on and off quick and, you know, being able to change the angles I wanted to real quick with it. So I'll still keep it. Uh, I'll probably use it. Uh, it can go anywhere, you know, like on the rails that it's on. And it just has the male female connection there. So last but not least, I've got the Jackson Kayak red tow and flag that comes with it when you purchase the kayak. Of course, keep that up front because I put mine into my truck backwards. Considering most of the weight is in the back of the kayak, I get it up as front of the, in the front of the bed as far as possible. Uh, I've just got it tied around my front hatch bungee cord here, and when I'm not using it, you know, I can just I can just stick it inside the hatch, and it's out of the way. It doesn't get hung up. Usually, I leave it out, but of course, my hooks find everything out there, and they're always finding this, so I'm tired of hanging up hanging up on it. So I'll just stick it in the hatch whenever I'm not using it. So this deal here, I don't really uh, consider it part of the kayak, but I do take it with me, of course, for safety purposes. It's the uh, NRS Chinook PFD. Uh, it's kind of in the green color. I got it to fit my size. It works pretty well. It's got a nice uh, high back floating device on the back, so it doesn't really interrupt with the seat. And of course, I got some CUDA line cutters hooked up for it, and of course, lanyard off so I don't lose them, as well as just some regular pliers, you know, needle nose to get in there deep for when those fish swallow your bait. So the last item I got is the Sea Tug kayak cart. I use the transporting it, you know, whenever I have to park and I can't launch right there, I've got to get this to my launch area. I use this one, just got it the other day, works fairly well. I like that the saddle on top pivots to fit to your whole shape on the bottom. So it should work to just about any of them. Uh, I would look up reviews on them before you go buy one to make sure it works for yours. It's got good straps that come with it, good wheels, and a kickstand to kind of hold it in place whenever you get the back of your hole on top of it. So I'm uh, going to stick with this one for a while and hopefully it does well. Well guys, that's it for my kayak. I've uh, set up for y'all to see. A couple of announcements before we're getting out of here. Uh, give a shout out to uh, Crank Fishing. As you can tell, I'm wearing their sweatshirt. Got a uh, field staff position with them recently, trying out some of their jigs and their chatterbaits. The one I was using out the other day at uh, Bear Branch was this one here. It's a 3 8 vibing jig, just a chatterbait. Uh, this color was working really well. It's got blue, brown, and some silver black flake to it. And it is 3 8 ounce. And I just put a, a small 3 inch Kytec paddle tail onto it. I was just rolling it across the uh, across the bottom and it was picking up bass. Uh, I don't know what it was about it that time of day or whatnot, but it worked really well. So go check out theirs. I'm going to be using some of their other baits, different colors. They also got flipping jigs as well. Another shout out to the two guys who got me started into this. Uh, Devin from it's got Bayou Bass King on his channel. I'll put a link in the description for him as well with Eric Solerio out in the hill country His kayak fishing page on Facebook hill country kayak fishing His is gonna YouTube channel. It's hooked off the grid TV filmed with both of those guys fish with both of them a few times I appreciate them getting me into this uh, film for them, you know giving them my SD cards to make their videos Now I'm branching off and doing my own a little bit. They won't be as good as theirs. They got it figured out I'm trying to keep it plain Jane, simple for y'all, so you can just watch the stuff and move on. That way you don't get bored with everything. But a shout out to those, guys, to those two guys and crank fishing as well. Hoping to get on the water this weekend with Devin. Uh, we got rain coming tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping to get out there with him and find some fish. Hopefully it's not too muddy. And uh, maybe we can get out there and get on a few and be able to show y'all in the next video. Otherwise, take care, guys. See y'all later.